Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. Most of you are probably aware that digital TV signals are very fragile. The current TV standard was actually designed to be picked up in a fixed location, not while an antenna is in motion, which explains why portable TV sets aren't really much of a thing anymore. Throughout the years, I noticed that TV stations actually could be picked up in motion, even in a moving vehicle, if there wasn't much between the antenna and the broadcast tower. This got me thinking, is it possible to pick up TV stations on an airplane since there's basically no obstruction between yourself and the broadcast towers? Keep watching to find out. If you're a cord cutter or into antenna tech, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Some of you may be asking, how on earth would it be possible to see if TV stations could be picked up in an airplane? Wouldn't it take a TV, an antenna, and a power source? This stuff would likely take up two or three seats and possibly even result in me getting kicked off the airplane. No, I will not put this in the baggage compartment. Would I actually be crazy enough to do this? Yeah, but there's actually a much easier way. Amazon sells this ATSC dongle for Android phones that will actually turn your smartphone into a TV tuner. I covered this in a previous video of mine, which you can find attached in the description of the video. It's the perfect unit to test out this experiment. After all, the TV tuner works while the phone is in airplane mode. No, I didn't book a flight on an airplane just to see if I could pick up local TV stations for this YouTube video. I already had a separate trip planned. Where did I go? You guys are insane. If you know, you know. If you don't, don't worry about it. Anyway, the day I boarded the plane, I ran a channel scan while it was on the runway. I was able to pick up one local TV station and watch it for a little bit. Unfortunately, the phone I planned on using to record everything actually slipped out of my pocket in the airport, so my only option was to use a screen recorder on my phone and switch to the camera to show you exactly where I was. As a quick note, this tuner only picks up current ATSC 1.0 TV signals. It is impossible for me to test the new ATSC 3.0 TV standard in airplane yet, as there aren't any battery or USB powered tuners on the market and probably won't be for several years. As the plane began to take off, the signal cut out. This made me lose hope that I would pick up any other TV stations, likely due to the speed of the aircraft. As the plane gained altitude, I ran another channel scan. To my surprise, the tuner picked up some UHF channels out of the Scranton Wilkesbury area. Would they actually decode? Yes, I chose WNEP to watch since I knew they had the strongest signal in the market. Here's a shot from my camera looking out of the airplane and then back to the TV station. I know, the gloves are off. I was also able to pick up the Fox said, okay, affiliate from the same market. Oh, you're with Alex with the baby. We broke up. Here's another shot of me switching from the TV tuner app on my phone to the camera to show that I indeed did pick up this TV station while the plane was in the air. Both TV stations were reliable for about seven minutes when they began to cut out. I ran another channel scan. To my extreme shock, I picked up a TV station all the way from Syracuse, New York, despite the fact that the plane was over Washington, D.C., about 250 miles away. How is this possible? I'll explain. TV signals travel in a straight line. On land, they tend to disappear over the horizon between 80 to 100 miles from the broadcast tower due to the curvature of the Earth. Well, an airplane is so high up in the air that it's able to overcome the curvature of the Earth to the point that TV stations can be picked up from much further away. This is why I also picked up a TV station from Pittsburgh and Youngstown, Ohio, while the plane was over Virginia. Here's where it was when I picked up WPGH from Pittsburgh, and here's where it was when I picked up WFMJ from Youngstown, Ohio. After that, it became harder to pick up TV stations. Not because they weren't hitting my antenna, the issue is that at such a high cruising altitude, 
TV stations on the same RF channel or frequency sort of cancel each other out. Just look at this map of the TV stations that use RF channel 35. Without the curvature of the Earth taken into consideration, the signals overlap and can't be decoded. This explains why I picked up WSYT out of Syracuse from such a far distance. There were no other TV stations in the way on RF channel 14 when the plane was over the DC area. I was able to lock in the Atlanta Univision affiliate from over 200 miles away while the plane was over Savannah, Georgia. This makes sense as the only other TV stations on RF channel 18 were all low powered and probably not strong enough to overpower the megawatt signal of WUVG. As I got closer to Florida, I picked up the ABC affiliate from Tallahassee, Florida. Part of me was hoping the airplane would crash as it would be less painful than watching an episode of The View. The plane did not crash and I gained more TV stations as it descended altitude, including WMOR from Tampa, WOGX from Ocala, and WFOX from Jacksonville. Keep in mind that each of these TV stations only came in for about 5 to 10 minutes before they completely cut out. Eventually, I picked up all the TV stations out of Orlando, which was the landing destination of the plane. They were reliable and consistent for about 10 minutes, even as the plane touched the runway. If you haven't come to the conclusion already, yes, it is possible to pick up TV stations on an airplane with a TV tuner dongle linked in the description of the video. However, I noticed that the TV stations are most reliable within the first and last 10 or 15 minutes of the flight. Any time between that consists of TV stations that will come in for a little bit before other TV stations on the same RF channel results in you not getting anything at all. It's definitely a fun experiment if you're into over-the-air TV tech, but not the best for entertainment. You can still use the TV tuner dongle to pick up TV stations on Android smartphone or tablet as you travel places, which is pretty cool. For those of you about to ask, no, there is not a TV tuner adapter for an iPhone. Apple is too restrictive with third-party hardware, which is one of the many reasons why I've never owned one. I mean, my phone literally folds in half, and no, there is not a crease in the Motorola Razr 5G. For the rest of us who didn't buy an overpriced, overrated smartphone, you can follow my link in the description of the video to the TV tuner dongle to see what TV stations you can pick up at your house and as you travel. I noticed in most locations I'm able to pick up at least a few TV stations pretty much no matter where I'm at. I mean, I can even pick up this TV station in my basement studio. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope you found it interesting and be sure to share it with other people because this is pretty fascinating. I never imagined that I would be able to pick up TV stations on an airplane because of how fast it was traveling and how high it was, but the good thing is that's so high, there's no obstructions in the way the broadcast towers. The bad thing is it's so high that TV stations on the same RF channel interfere with each other, so you can't always pick up a TV station reliably. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the quarter if you just think they're cool and would like to support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button in the video. So this is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.